Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Joe Omar John. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe now and hit that bell for notifications so you will be notified if I have a new video uploaded. <laughs> so, guys, it's currently 10 45, and I'm going to show to you how I pack for our travels. West Eon Productions. So eventually, uh, I'm used to it traveling with 40 kgs with tennis. So we have at least 40 kg each when we travel. So this time it's going to be challenging for us because we will be gone for two weeks for Dennis's birthday weeks. So we will be away from Yangon for two weeks and here's the catch. We will be only having 20 kg. Both of us. I repeat, both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, Dennis wanted to have like 30 kgs each, but I insisted to have just 20 kg for our travel because I want to challenge ourselves because we have been traveling for the past years and we always have a lot of things with us. So now it's going to be challenging for me because I will be packing for 20 kg both of us for 14 days so i will be trying to show to you how will be how will i be able to manage it so let's start <laughs> so eventually if you have time you have to pack <laughs> not overnight but you have to pack at least a week but if you're cramming like me you can pack <laughs> overnight the lesson that I want to teach you when you are packing is just to lay everything first before stuffing it because when you stuff your clothes or your stuff on your luggage it the tendency is it will be overflowing but when you lay over all the stuff on the floor you will be able to see the stuff that you won't need and you will be able to pack properly and the next thing is you have to choose clothes that are basic because with basic clothes people wouldn't know that you already used that when you use it in your photos especially when you're obsessed with your OOTDs like me and eventually if you just bring one outfit that has a different pattern so eventually when you wear it again you people will notice that you already wore it but when it's basic and you can use it a lot of times and people will, wouldn't even notice it so my basics would be a black pants tailored trousers that is a black and white shirt and black shirt and white bottom down those are the perfect basic uh, pieces you have to have when you travel so Tangejin, my next tip for you is to have those small pouches. So for us, we have small pouches for our medicine, for our grooming necessities. And at the same time, having these small pouches will make your luggage and your space more organized. And it will save space. And by the way, we also have pouches for our gadgets. So another tip that I'll be sharing to you is you have to have those small bottles or containers so instead of bringing those huge products or necessities that you want to use you will just be able to use what you need and it saves space so the first thing that I always usually do is I place the bulky things that we have so for example the medicine the blood pressure machine that Dennis used our slippers I always put those things first and the next one is I stuff our socks, our underwear inside our shoes because it really saves space. Okay. 
Another tip that I'll be sharing to you is we always bring empty bags with us like duffel bag and tote bag. So the good thing about this is if you have excess baggage, you can just transfer this to your empty bags and hand carry it with you. So, Tangejin, last but not the least, is of course you have to weigh in your luggage. So, in this case, you'll be able to approximate if you are within the limit of your luggage. So, you have to invest in a weighing scale. Guys, it's 12 point something. So, I think both of this could be our. Check-in baggage! So, 20 kilo siya. So, hopefully, tomorrow, I'm going to go check Hi, guys! So, finally, I'm done packing. Finally! Finally! <laughs> Anyhow, grabe, I can't even imagine that I was able to pull this off. This will be our first time to travel light and we are traveling at, at least five countries in two weeks ha. So eventually, I'm quite proud of myself because I realized that you don't have to bring a lot of clothes. You just have to pack light and just pretty basic and just enjoy the trip and don't focus on the photos that you take. So somehow we were able to save instead of paying and we were challenged, you know, para to use your money wisely and ayun, but I don't know what will happen tomorrow or later hopefully wala kami excess luggage so ayun siya so tangajin thank you for watching hopefully uh, you have learned some tips with my packing so thank you and wish us luck for our trip and bye bye thank you ah. <laughs>